From the best news headquarters in the world, this is Breaking News, a recap, with Wesley Newfarmer and Jessica Pratt. Good evening and welcome to Breaking News, a recap. I'm Wesley Newfarmer and I'm joined by Jessica Pratt, the woman who received her job because she, well... What, you, you think know. I slipped my way to this position? Oh my gosh, I would never say that. I was going to say that it was more of a... Well, you know those programs that are designed to be inclusive towards ethnics and plain girls. I wish. Turns out I'm not ethnic or plain enough. Oh, Jessica, don't say that about yourself. Of course you're plain enough. On with the news. Former Melissa McCarthy impersonator Sean Spicer surprised many people with a cameo at this year's Emmy Awards. He compared the false inauguration figures with the amount of people watching that broadcast. Spicer, however, did look confused, thinking he was there to collect an Emmy for Big Little Lies. Big Little Lies, of course, is a TV show starring Nicole Kidman and not a description of the president's ego, hand size, or whatever alternative facts come out of his office. Pope Francis has declared evolution and the Big Bang Theory are real and that God is not a magician with a magic wand. In response, God has regrettably cancelled his upcoming Las Vegas show, Watch Me Pull a Bazillion Rabbits Out of My Hat. Donald Trump spoke at the UN this week when he declared he would totally destroy North Korea if they threatened the United States and referred to Kim Jong-un as Rocket Man. While the North Korean president seemed unimpressed with the threat, it has given him a wonderful idea for his country's only movie this year. Facebook is in deep water after it's been revealed that they unknowingly sold ads to Russian entities who in turn influenced the US election in 2016. The ads targeted specific groups and cities to push the Trump political agenda. Similar to the way Facebook push ads to me about buying anti-aging cream, detox teas, and tummy-sucking Spanx. You get those too? Mm. I can tell you from experience, they do not work. The Facebook targeting ads? No, the, the Spanx. They're very uncomfortable. Good news for snow leopards, they're no longer considered in danger, but instead categorized as at risk. Scientists are unsure of the exact number remaining in the wild, as the most accurate way to identify one is through autopsy. Uber has apologized for their sexist ad on Wife Appreciation Day, which stated, let your wife take a day off from the kitchen, and then offered a discount on its Uber Eats delivery service. Wives were obviously angry, upset, and depressed, and as a result had two key questions of Uber. One, how big is the discount? And two, is there a limit to how much one can order? Stanislav Petrov, the Soviet man who chose not to launch missiles at the US in 1983, even though a computer glitch told him to do so, has sadly died at age 77. Petrov's credited for saving the world because of his sensibility to not completely obey technology. This is something we can all learn from, especially when using Google Maps. US Senator and not the guy from Back to the Future, Bernie Sanders, has introduced a health care bill that would give affordable health insurance to all Americans. To find out more, let's cross to our sport reporter, Kieran Hillier. Thanks, Jessica and Wesley. In order to better understand the proposal, let's have a look at the top five common injuries that would now be covered under Senator Sanders' plan. Coming in at number five, the popular rolling your ankle because your foot's gone to sleep during a big Netflix session. <laughs> number four, the black eye. Usually occurs after dropping your phone on your face as you doze off scrolling through Facebook. Number three, mild concussion. Often occurring in those who have bent down in the kitchen to collect an item, stood up swiftly, and as a result, hit their head on a cupboard door that they themselves left open. <laughs> Taking the number two spot, the tongue twister. Commonly involves electric beaters, cake batter, and forgetting to unplug the power cord. And finally, coming in at number one, the sprained knee, a popular injury which occurs in most drunk people on St. Patrick's Day after proving they can Irish dance. While we as humans may never evolve enough to prevent such sporting injuries, I think we can all agree that receiving basic health care to cover these would be a good start. Back to you, Wesley and Jessica. Thanks, Kieran. On to the weather. In Australia, it's going to be a bit cloudy with rain, but also a whole lot of blue skies and sun. Temperatures will range between 1 and 34. Wow, that's a huge range. In Fahrenheit, that's like 33 to 93. Well, actually, it's not that weird because Australia is roughly the same size as the US, but with less people, better health care, more affordable education, fewer guns. Well, what about gay marriage? Got that yet? No? How about Disneyland or... Hamilton. Damn it. In the US, Hurricane Maria 
ironically named because it's in Puerto Rico, Maria, is causing massive destruction. To everyone who's been affected, stay safe and look after your fellow sharks. That's all the time we have for today. If you liked our show, please comment, like, and share amongst your friends. If you didn't, maybe this will help. Yeah, no, it's been a while. Yeah. So, uh, listen, um, I just found out I'm retarded, and um, I'm just calling to let you know uh, you might want to get yourself tested. Hello? Tune in next week for more breaking news a few days after it actually happens. You know, I played Maria in college. I went to a new girls' school, so I played Bernardo. <laughs>